BPTH destroying accounts or possibly making millionaires today. Taking a look at this stock, it's up over 3,000% in the last couple days here. You can see on the daily chart, look at this thing. It's madness going from $2.50 today up to $72.50. What in the world is going on? I'm really interested to find out in the comment section down below if you guys profited from this trade. We talked about it this morning pre-market. We talked about it, and I'm going to kind of go over what is really going on here with BPTH. It's madness. It's crazy. I wanted to almost write a rap song about some real gangster thing like, shot, 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 bang, 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 BPTH to the moon. All right, what's going on, guys? I'm fired up. Not because I've made millions of dollars on BPTH today, but I love a good old-fashioned short squeeze slash crazy stock slash just madness. I love madness. I don't know what it is about a stock that goes to the moon, but it just gets me excited. It gets my blood pumping. And I'm not going to lie. I did not make any trades here on BPTH, so this entire video is just a video talking about this move and sitting here in hindsight talking about how we could have all been millionaires if we would have just bought the other day when it was $2.50 and we sold when it was $74 today. But it's just not that simple, my friends. It's just not that simple. Day trading is just not that simple. You know, how would I have known? This morning, we talked about BPTH in pre-market. We talked about it at the $16 area. This morning, pre-market, look at this. It was $16, $16.56. And I don't want to say that I told people to short it because I did not tell anybody to short it, but I definitely said that there was a chance that BPTH could crash back down pretty quickly if it couldn't hold the support area there. So, you know, it's kind of like I was right. It's kind of like I was wrong. It's like a 50-50 almost. But overall, I mean, look at this move. Look at this move. This is what it's all about. If you're lucky enough, if you're brave enough, if you bought 1,000 shares of BPTH, Let's say you bought 1,000 shares of BPTH at $16 this morning. So you invested $16,000, right? That's a $16,000 investment. And let's say for some crazy reason that you fell asleep, you maybe went for a walk, you came home, and all of a sudden the stock was at $74. You would have made, obviously, you know, $74,000 subtracted by $16,000. I don't know how smart you guys are, but you would have made $58,000 today. Could you imagine turning a $16,000 investment into a $74,000 return or a $58,000 return? That's really what it's all about. But hey, let's be honest. The chance of you buying the bottom and selling the top is probably one in a million. You've got a better chance to go to Vegas and bet on black than the idea of holding from here to there. Now, it might look simple in hindsight. It's like, wow, I could have easily just bought in this area. And I could have sold up here at $74. It just seems that simple, right? But look at this now. Look at this move. These are the five-minute chart. You can see, obviously, five minutes. We got, on this first candle, we got 2.6 million shares traded. We got, two point, we got 2 million shares there. And we kind of tapered off. We tightened up. And look at this, how kind of interesting. I'm basically going to say that this was just a major short squeeze after this kind of broke out here. Once it was holding the view app, you had all these shorts that were like, I'm piling in, you know, because you're getting these... Lower highs, lower highs, lower highs. And everyone's like, oh, this thing's going to roll off. It's going to crash. It's going to crash. It's going to crash. Well, what happens when a stock does something that everybody didn't expect it to do? Well, you either get a major sell-off or you get a major move to the upside and then you get a major short squeeze. And that's exactly what happened. Because look at, in comparison here, you got 400,000 shares and you went from $25 to $28. On this candle, you've got 900,000 shares. You went from... $34 to $41 on this candle here. You've got 500,000 to 600,000 shares. You went from 47 to 54. From here, you went 300,000 shares from 55 to 64. And here, 85,000 shares up there to 73. It just reopened again. Let's see what's going to happen here. It's live. This is live, baby. We're live on YouTube. Well, it's sort of like I'm recording this live, but you can see the volatility here. Let's pull. You can see the kind of the price action right now. Should I buy? I should probably buy, right? Buy 1,000 shares right here. It's going back to the moon. No problem. Yeah, I doubt it. I doubt it. This is probably be a, a beautiful short opportunity. If I could get some shares of short right here at 34, let's just do a magical fake trade here. Okay, I'm short at 34. Let's see. I got a thousand shares short. How low is it going to go? Oh, gosh, it's coming back. It's squeezing. Oh, my magical trade, it blew up my face and I just lost $2,000. Okay, it happens. It's a good thing I was doing a magical trade there. But 
overall, you can see this price action. I mean, could you have profited from this trade? Possibly. You know, there's always a chance. You know, buying down here obviously would have been the better opportunity than buying up here at seventy-four dollars. I can guarantee that there's somebody out there. There's somebody out there who bought. I mean, obviously somebody had to buy up here, but there's somebody on YouTube or in some chat room who was buying up here at seventy-five dollars at uh, seventy dollars. Now look at that move. It dropped from seventy-four dollars back down there to twenty-six dollars. Overall, daily chart here. The other day it was at two dollars and fifty cents. It bounced. Uh, maybe do like a do like a, an hourly chart. So you can see the other day the stock went from two dollars and fifty cents up there to seven dollars and fifty cents. Pulled back. It consolidated basically all of Monday. Just consolidated for for didn't do anything all day Monday. It just stuck got stuck between five dollars and four dollars. And then yesterday had a nice little rally up there to twelve fifty. And then bam went right to the moon today. Right to the moon today. And it's ooh, it's looking like it wants to do something here. Looking like it's Wants to go back to the moon. So now what's happening is you're getting shorts piling back in. You're getting people who are chasing it, thinking that this is the dip. They're going to, you know, really try to move it. But you can see the overall volume, you know, kind of fading out here. But you're still getting really volatile moves. You know, obviously this is one of those stocks that can go from $74 down there to $56. Or it can drop right here from $40 down there to $30. There's a lot of volatility, a lot of action. You could probably make a little bit of money if you were right. Maybe if you were really lucky on this stock. But there's also a really good chance that you couldn't make any money because you're going to end up getting stuck in a halt like that right there. There's, you know, a lot of different variables. So in hindsight, it looks easy. You know, it's easy to sit here and be like, well, I could have bought here at $14 and I could have sold at $74 and I could be millionaire right now. It's just not that simple. But I want to share with you guys this crazy chart. I think it'll be funny to see the comments down below. I want to know how many of you guys actually traded BPTH today. We talked about it in the live stream, kind of like this thing is crazy. I'm not sure I want to touch it. You know, obviously now I look at it, I'm like, man, I wish I would have touched it. I wish I would have touched it all day long kind of thing. You know, like I wish I put my hands all over BPTH, but I didn't. And I'm okay with it. It happens. There's always going to be another crazy stock to come. But this type of but this type of trading, you know, you might get lucky. You might make a little bit of money, but there's also a really good chance you're going to blow up your account because you're going to be stuck in a hall or you're going to get squeezed. Or something crazy is going to happen. I don't know. For me, it's always kind of been like that. Anytime there's some crazy, amazing opportunity, I usually end up losing money because it's just like the luck. And I feel like a lot of people probably have the same experiences. When a stock looks too good to be true, normally for me it is, and I end up losing money. So I've kind of just adopted that simple idea, that simple premise, that if I look at a stock and I'm like, whoo, I'm going to make a lot of money off this stock. I just stay away from it because there's probably a better chance that I'm going to end up losing money instead. You know, when your mind is telling you that this is going to be beautiful, that I'll make tons and tons of money, when that's all you're thinking about, it's probably a red flag that you should be scared. You should probably walk away and don't touch that stock because BPTH, like I said, you know, in the hindsight, it looks beautiful. Like I could have made tons of money, but also look at these drops on the downside here. Drop, 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 drop. A lot of people made money today. A lot of people lost money today. It's just one of those crazy stocks. BPTH, there it is. If you guys haven't already and you're for some reason new to the channel and you're wanting to watch more, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, leave a comment down below. Did you trade BPTH? I'll talk to you guys later on.